So we need to renew ourselves according to this change. We need to change our minds according to this or um, the God's standard. The God uh, broadens our vessel, so God will do this. Philippians chapter 1 to 6, and I'm sure of this, that he, is begin, he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day. God will make uh, these vessels for us. So every day, day by day, we must receive his words and you must renew yourself with his words. So discard your old frame, but we are a new frame. From now on, God is a new, new frame and when he called Abraham, then I will give it all the blessings for all the nations. Then he promised the three uh, fields, but Abraham didn't understand, but so he had a very hard time and the end of Genesis chapter 3 and Genesis chapter 27, 28, it's about what God, what God um, said again about this new frame. So he had a really hard time had a hard time until he understood uh, what God said. And Israel people were under captivity and being a slave and belonging to other nations. What is the reason for this? Because they didn't understand the three fields for two, three, seven nations. They couldn't wear a new form of the frame. So God sent them as a slaves and captives. And they They took a, a job for uh, spreading this gospel. So the first mission for God to give us is that we gave, uh, He gave us this new frame and for 237 nations. So we need to put all our hearts and minds into this. We are in the era of 237 nations. The disaster is not disasters. Whenever we have, uh, whenever we had the disaster in the history, God just opened the door, a big door for two, three, seven nations. So, in the midst of this turmoil, COVID-19, it is a disaster. But of course, through, but through this, God will start a new. A, a big change through this crisis. So you need to see this fact, then you can receive the tremendous blessings, accurate blessing of the Lord. What is the characteristic of the three seven nation? As time goes by, in fact, we will experience a big change in jobs. And in 20 or 10 years, 17% uh, of this current stop will disappear. So we will, there will be a big change in this era. And the, the technology has been advanced and so many people will suffer from so many different diseases. So the elites will all fall into the meditations and the spiritual uh, movements. That is a characteristic of 237 era. So to prepare this 237 era, to save these nations, um, we need to find out all the blessings that had, God had given us, and God is giving us, and God, has, God will give us. And we also help the remnants, the next posterity, grab hold of these covenants. And we must grab all the things that any age, any era can understand and spread. Uh, on the history that we've experienced and we've had, 
Then he wants to find the things that was, that there was, and there is, and there will be. Then you must find this fact, and we must grab hold of this fact and of the next posterities as well. So you must make sure that you wear a new frame and new clothes that you must enjoy all the time. Day by day, you have this new frame and wearing new clothes. Otherwise, you will be attacked by all the secular things in, in England, in England. Uh, in Europe, so many people try to attack the Asian people. Um, unless we wear a new frame and new clothes, then you will be attacked spiritually. What is the reason that we must do this? Otherwise, all the old habits in the past and all the lifestyles, then the, all the directions of your lifestyle uh, will not let you go. So you must renew yourself in this new frame and new clothes. Otherwise, you cannot discard your old habits and old frame. You cannot get out of them. Then the, uh, out of these habits, what is your lifestyle? The way you live and people are living. There is no exception. People are living in two troubles. They are in the snare of the evil spirits that they made. And they are self-centered and they are centered on the success in society. Then you, if without God's new clothes and new frame, then you will fall into these worldly things. And the Satan also made this the frame of the success, uh, where uh, regardless of your knowledge, you fall into your substitutions and idols. And while doing so, then inevitably you will. Uh, be caught by the snare of the Satan. That is the 12 problems of Satan. Without this, then you cannot understand. Without the gospel, you cannot understand the spiritual things. So many things, spiritual things are happening in this world and it's keep going. Why is that? Because and we are because of the Satan's and all these evil spirits always try to be a king in our lives uh, so we are doomed to be in uh, within the snares and the trap of the Satan and the Satan uh, try to seize us and play in this world and stop us from believing in the gospel and trying to destroy these churches in this world. And we are living in such a world. Then we needed to discern what is wrong and right and your knowledge and your wisdom can only come out of the gospel, and the grace only comes out of the gospel. That's why the Colossians chapter 2, verse 2, then Christ is the, the mystery of God, and all the things are hidden in the treasure of wisdom and knowledge within God. So we have also discernment, all these discernment, what is right and wrong, and the knowledge and the wisdom that we can use to discern and identify the things. 
The day by day, we must wear and we must to stay within the frame, wear a uh, new clothes and stay within the new frame. Otherwise, even you just had a life wonderfully without the gospel, but uh, think about this: that without the gospel, just to live a week, then uh, we have a kind of. Uh, thought that we want to pursue the things in the world. Even though you are saved once, if you do not know the gospel well, like Israel people, we will in the flow of Satan and try to worship the idols. Then we will fail with the judgment and punishment of God. Even though you are a child of God, and so many people will face judgment and the failures in the history of the gospel, and this new uh, main passage, they are before, just right before the canon, and then they are talking about destructions and the failure of getting into the canon land. Even they didn't. Get into this land, but God is talking about this destruction and failures. And twenty six said, "I said I will scatter them and blot out their memory from mankind." God uh, knew about this destruction, and they will be scattered. So God told them that you must be prepared. Not to be scattered, losing hold of his God's blessings. God will, God will put judgment and all the disasters to, to give them the message about this. Then you must come to church with the knowledge, the accurate knowledge of the gospel. Otherwise, like Israel people, even their chosen nation, they just face judgment and the punishment of God. While living in this world, and we also might face adversities, so as a child of this Hana church, by wearing the new clothes and staying in this new frame. Then you must be a great evangelist. By living in this earth and working, uh, work office, do not fail. But you must know that what the evangelist would be like with this gospel. If you lose hold of the gospel, then you will fail. And you will face judgment. Babylon judged Israel people. They didn't listen to them. The Israel people didn't listen to them, but they were faced the judgment by this great nation. That is a sign from uh, from God. As a parents, if uh, children are doing something wrong, then you will scold them and try to give them the lesson. But the Lord, the Israel people, lost hold of this gospel, and by these great nations, they were uh, they faced this hardship. So with this, all these prophets. They could have understand understood it is, but they couldn't. It's not the problem of the Israel people. It's the problem of ours. Why do we uh, emphasize on the gospel? Why do we say that? Keep saying that we need to grab hold of this covenant for life. We always, unless we get into this new uh, these words, then. You will fail. So 
the, in the center of your mind, then you need to confess your face like, I need Christ. Please give me the power to live with your power. And day by day, I will come closer to the cross. That's the song that we um, sing. It's for me, it's like I confess my walk of faith, like I need to come closer to you. I need to come closer to the cross. And by the blood of, uh, of the Christ, please cleanse us. I need Christ. I confess my face like this every day. So if you know the field well and you, if you know yourself well, then you will definitely grab hold of the reason why we need to grab hold of the co covenant and Christ. The, the, the worship is great and the words are great. And the new system it's really good and the well, pastor said that I need I want to sing a song in front because of the new system if you really think that this word is great and worship is great then you must not stay in, within uh, the place where you are you must move on. And one person said that this, this system and the renovation, after this renovation, it's really good because uh, the previous uh, speaker system that was really hard to listen to this. And I need to wear a kind of uh, hearing device, the, some device to amplify the sound. But the last week, it was so clear for me to understand the message. Then I can survive. I can. It's an. Fifteen years ago, one of the elders came to my room and said that I really love this church. And I'm praying for this church and respect you. Well, but I can't stay here because and, and this the speaker system that he, this person had a very, um, some hard time in his hearing. So I couldn't listen to this. Have you ever experienced this kind of situation that you want to listen to this message, but you can't hear it? And this person was like, experienced this. And he, this person need to listen to this message, but couldn't. So he loved this church so much, but he, this elder, had to leave. Then I'm sorry that I said that you must go then. It's because it's very important for this person to listen to the message. Then they found this first found this church that can have this uh, broadcasting system very well. And this person always giving me a card every year. Whenever the Christmas comes in, this person always gave me this card. And then I'm praying that this Hana Church will be used for 237 age. If you get to listen to the message and that the message will turn into the strengths of you, that what I want to say is that when you hear this message with this, you must discern everything in this world happening. And with these words, you must discern everything happening around you. 
then until you can build up the new systems. And the God is giving you the new message that that means you can understand. That means that you can hear this His voice. Sometimes that is, He emphasizes on the listening to His message with uh, great power of grace. Then with this pouring down, uh, grace pouring down, then God is giving us this wonderful message. It's not just only wonderful, that's it, but you must prepare a new frame. Until you make a new frame, then you must go before the cross, before God with His words, then you must imprint and you must root it, be rooted in His words. That is the way of life. They must take, and that is a new clothes, that is a new frame. If you imprint your his words, that means that you are having you are stay in this new frame. John chapter fifteen verse seven that if you remain in me and my words remain in you and ask whatever you wish and I will it will be given to you. with all the new frames prepared, that is, you are in this state. And the book of John and the book of Psalm is about the state of being a child of God. His delight is in the law of the Lord and His law. He meditates day and night. And then they do not lose hold of the flow of His covenant. That God emphasizes, Jesus emphasizes on this that you must make a new frame. Matthew chapter 5 says, at the time, all the Jews, Jews and Pharisees, and they had very false messages. It's about uh, whether it is gospel or not. And this chapter 5 that is, he uh, talked about this in the mountain, then you must make a new frame for yourself. And Matthew chapter 16 says, what did people say? Who did people say I am? Then their answers were in old frames. And some some people say you are a Messiah, you are an Elijah. And Jesus said that, the, who do you say I am? And the Peter said that then he was talking about the new frame. You are the Christ. The Son, the Christ is Jesus Christ. That is a new frame, and you will be blessed. Jesus said, and You know this not by your flesh, but the flood, and all these darkness will not overcome you. And I will build this church on the rock. So, whoever uh, builds this new frame and wearing uh, new clothes and God will build us on the rock and the, the force of darkness will uh, never overcome you and He will give you the blessings to have the successful throne. Matthew chapter 7, 18 Who is the biggest, who is the largest in heaven? And it's their most concern and the disciples ask this question to Jesus. And even the churches also fall into these false questions about who is the biggest, who is sitting in the highest position. And Jesus said it. You cannot get in this to heaven unless you are like a child. You must build up this new frame to receive this tremendous and genius blessings of the Lord. So you must wear this new frame and new clothes day by day. You must check yourself where, whether you are wearing a new clothes. And then when you get up, then you must have this summit time. And for uh, the week, 
this this service is about time that do you wear a new frame and you wear a new clothes and build a new frame. So you must start with these new things. Romans chapter 15, 13 verse 12 said, The night is far gone, the day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works of the darkness and put the armor of the light. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires. And you must uh, we are new yourself, new self. That is Jesus Christ. Day by day, you must attract Jesus is Christ. Wear a new unif new form, new new clothes. If you see this problem, then you will see the answers. Wearing new f uniform and within the new frame, then you can see these answers. You can see this guidance of the the Lord. Age by age, they have success because they have new frame and new uh, new clothes. And third, second, the new frame of the church. You must have this new frame of the church to destroy these disasters. You must recover this new frame of the church so that you can enjoy this new frame of the church in your field. If whenever you come to church, recovering this new frame, and with the, which you can recover the, all the disasters in the field. If you build up the church that is doing this evangelism movement, then the idols will be crumbled down and destroyed. Then this church must be doing this, and the Hatis answers must be doing this. And because of this church, all these uh, uh, disasters and the idols will be destroyed. And they will, all the people living in this region will be delight, delighted and joyful because of the gospel. When we started this church 2005 and the, the The mayor of this region was invited to give us these benedictions, and he is president of uh, this district. So, because of he he said it's because of this Hana Church, then this region will people living in this region will be joyful all the time. Then I receive this message like this, if this Sana church is the church for this evangelism then you must give them the happiness and joy to other people people are bound to the all the idol worship idol worshiping and their prostitutions but we, we must give them the freedom getting out of this giving them the happiness and delivering the the meaning of the true um, meaning, the true meaning of the happiness. They do not know what they are doing by worshiping the idols. What is the result of worshiping idols? And verse thirty-two says today. Thirty-one says, "For their luck is not as our luck." Their enemies are by themselves. They are relying on the rocks that they built. So they will fall in vain because they couldn't find this true meaning of uh, of the happiness. So they were will fall in de depression and the vain. Then God when they were under captives of Babylon, then they made them decisions, like I made a decision. Verse 1, 8, and the, he knew that their, his people were slaves. So he made a decision that they would not fall into the slavery 
of life, they will not bow down before the idols. And I will not bow down before these gold idols because it brings out, brings all these disasters. And this reason, so many people are worshiping idols without knowing this, then this, all the evil spread will spread all around uh, these reasons. So with this church that is doing this evangelist movement, then all the people will be free uh, out of this uh, worshiping idols. That is a new frame of this church. And think about Mark upper rooms. They started to with this Christ and uh, the kingdom of God and only Holy Spirit. Uh, act in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 14, then they joined constantly, they are praying all together. Chapter 2, verse 1. All together in one place they prayer, prayed. When the day of Pentecost came, and three feasts, feasts that he said uh, in the era of Moses, and he accomplished this in this mark of a room. And he graveled of this covenant in this mountain of olive. And the early church members were upheld of this only gospel and Christ and the Holy Spirit. And they accomplished this with this power of answers and they saved the, the reason around them. Act chapter, chapter 8, 4 to 5, and all the Samaritans bound to the old habits and old frame and for like Mm, hundreds years because of this and they were fall into this serious spiritual problems that the one person who knew this new frame that was Philip then Philip went into this reason and spreading the gospel and that was a big joyful delight because of this Hana Church and this Tarsogu area will have the, this uh, big joy. So the Israel people had this all the frame at the time, so they just spread the gospel to the Jewish people only, only Jewish people. And after building up this Antioch church, 19, and they also spread the gospel to the Gentiles and the Greeks. They spread the gospel to them. Then God was delighted about this, and they broke out uh, their old frame and they made a new frame. All these stories about this chapter and all the acts then you can see this new frame. The dishonorers will build up this new frame, breaking out this old frame. Then we give the people living around this, uh, this true happiness. And the third, and the new frame for uh, the future. We have a new frame for day by day, and if we enjoy this new frame of this church, then we can prepare ourselves for uh, the two, three, saving two, three, seven nations. So day by day, we must wear this new, new clothes and stay in this new frame then we can relay this gospel to save two, three, seven nations. And very important, verse 39. Let's read it together. See now that I, even I am He, and there is no God beside me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. 
all the nations and all this world must know God, must know Jesus Christ. We must help them understand this. We must discard all, all these side works, but we must focus on spreading the gospel to other nations. Almighty Father God is the only God. We must let them know about this. When they are corrupt and when they are doing something wrong, then the Almighty God is the only one who will help you and save you and get you out of the trouble. And he said that verse 40 says, For I lift up my hand to heaven and swear as I live forever. He always swear with his name. And it says, I lift up my hands to heaven and swear. That means I swear on myself that God will accomplish and establish everything that he said. So, with, along with these words, and of course, of course, you will face persecutions and adversities, but God will do this with his name. 42, I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh with the blood of the slain and the captives from the long hairs, heads of the enemy. That means God will revenge enemies to the right place, and God will God will uh, put his sword and devour the flesh. You always revenge your enemies, but you must cast all these troubles down onto God and while grabbing hold of the covenants, then God will do this everything for the sake of you. And God will come in advance, come before you. So the absolute uh, covenant is that God will we will be the witness that to the end of this world. Acts chapter 1 and 8. 1 and 8 said that if you are doing this, like spreading the gospel to the end of the world, then the God will be with you. Do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid. Of course, you face persecutions and you might have a lot of troubles in your church, in your family. But God has an absolute plan, absolute covenants for you. And God is making this. God is guiding you. What is the new frame? That is absolute accomplishment of His words, His covenants, and where you are staying, where you are standing on. You are standing on uh, the absolute flow of the gospel, and you are standing now. You may fall, it fall down within these boundaries. Of course, if you are in the ark, then if you fall, then still you are in the ark. So you must remember this absolute covenant. If you have this absolute plans of God, if you fall down, then you can just stand up again. Don't be discouraged. Don't be shaken. And the sure thing is that I just talked about this in the, at the beginning, and we may face a lot of crises and adversities, but the absolute uh, plan will help these evangelists who will move on with this absolute will of God, and God, they will also see this crisis as the door of the spreading the gospel. And all these troubles will start again and again. Then it's not the end of the disasters. What it? When is the end of these disasters? When all the nations will uh, receive the gospels. And crisis is the, the big door uh, to to save the three seven nations. So the desolation disaster, it's a big door for us to open for the, the all the nations. This 
era of the disaster. God is paving, paving off the way for this, for us to uh, spread the gospel, and we must put our hearts on this. And the last week also said about this. After this serv, after first the service, then one person came to me that. This person always staying alone, and he's. This person said that I need to give these offerings to you. I I wonder how much. So I just opened the envelope. All the checks. You think that this person has this heart by himself? God gave this heart to him. To him. The God always moves your thought and mind to do this work. You must pave way uh, for two, three, seven nations. You must be the main figures to save two, three, seven nations. You must pay this big road to spread the gospel. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 5 said, Behold, you shall call a nation that you do not know, and a nation that did not know you shall run to you. that you are the evangelist of all the nations and you are the leaders to as a the leader of the spirit that God wants us to be in that place all our hearts must be gathered for the nations for this precious works of the covenant. You must move on. That come to the conclusion. You must wear a new uniform and must stay and you must prepare this new frame. And you must have this new field. Uh, two, three, seven nations are suffering and they are crying. But important is that to to solve this the problems of the world, there is no other alternatives in the world. If so, then they can solve this by themselves, but they can't do this. So God gave us this blessing of the throne and transcending time and place and going to two, three, seven nations for this week. You must uh, actualize this to receive nation, the blessing for to receive nations with these words. Father God, thank you that you let us wear the new, new uniform and stay in this new frame. And you let us, you help us prepare this new frame. Then in the walk of your, your, uh, Words and we can stay within within this. I pray in Jesus' holy, wonderful name. Amen.